Welcome to WHS 11 Digital. Thank you for joining us on whichever platform you're watching on. I'm Reed Yaden. John Humphreys is taking care of the video. We are going to talk to the laundry guy. Perhaps you saw him on Good Morning Kentuckiana recently. Well, he's with us here, and we're going to spend some time diving into the topic of laundry. This is uh, Patrick Richardson. Hi, Patrick, how are you? Thank you for spending some time with us here. Oh, absolutely. I love to talk about laundry. Okay, Patrick is from Lexington, and it begs the question, how did he get involved in laundry, okay? Well, one of my earliest memories is handing clothespins to my granny, and I was about two and a half, and I know that because when I turned three, which was in November, that Christmas, Santa brought me a toy washing machine. <laughs> so my love of laundry goes way, way back. Very good. And now, you went to school at the UK and you studied? I studied apparel and textiles. Ah, so so you, that kind of gives me, you know, you some legitimacy. Well, you understand how these fabrics are, are made and how they're woven and things you shouldn't Yeah, do. and they, sort of how they work. You know, okay. once you kind of understand the properties of cotton or the properties of wool or the properties of polyester, you can kind of figure out anything. Okay. As we talk, Michael has not one but two books out. One deals with laundry, the other do, deals with uh, love of household chores. They're both great books. We'll give you a look at them here. Uh, but the important part is you can get them online at any of the normal retailers. Oh yeah, you can buy them at any bookstore or go in. I mean, a lot of your bookstores may just have them in the store. Um, a lot of Kentucky bookstores have been really good to me. So in Kentucky, they're you very well could find them in the bookstore. In Louisville, you can find both books at Carmichael's, which great, great locally owned and run bookstore. Now, let's dive right in. What is the biggest mistake that people make doing laundry? No question, the biggest mistake that people make is use too much detergent. You know, this much for a full load, this much for a small load is what they say. We're gonna go to that much. We're gonna yeah. go to about two tablespoons for a full load of laundry. For a full load of laundry. Yeah. And then, you know, cut it back. So if you have yeah. a half a load, then a tablespoon, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Now, if, if, you, if you follow the directions on the, on the container, you're going to use, there's no way around it. You are using way, way too much. Yeah, you're using too much. And it's funny because then you use other products to fix your mistakes. Like that's the reason that they recommend fabric softener or dryer sheets is because your clothes get crunchy from too much detergent. And you so have, if you cut the detergent back, you don't need either of those. Okay, your thoughts on fabric softener and dryer sheets. Yeah, if you read my book or you hear me speak, I give you seven reasons that I hate fabric softener and dryer sheets more than squirrels and mosquitoes. <laughs> give me one reason. The biggest reason is it takes away the absorbency. The first time that you use fabric softener or dryer sheets on your towels, you reduce their absorbency by 80%. Whoa. And if you continue to use them, the absorbency drops like 95%. So your towels are almost useless. Now, your thoughts on what to use when you do your wash, and what about, you know, it, you buy a washing machine that has 12 cycles on it. I think the express cycle. You only need the express cycle, so a 30-minute cycle, warm water with cold rinse and a fast spin. That's how you should wash everything you own. Doesn't matter what it is. Your Doesn't towel, matter. sheets, shirts, pants. Absolutely. Whatever. Your suit coat, I don't care. Everything goes in warm water, cold rinse, fast spin. Now, how do we divide up the colors? The best way to do it is to do white, and then do black, and so then whites do, by themselves. Whites by themselves and blacks by themselves. By themselves. Okay. And then all the cool colors together. So everything blue, green, and purple, and that's like mint green to hunter green. Okay. And then the other load is red, orange, and yellow. So like pink to burgundy, etc. So divide them that way, and you'll, that'll give you the very best results. Let's talk about another problem. Uh, lint. It, it is you know. Uh, an ongoing problem when you wash. Yeah, it's a, it's a thing. And it actually, the reason that lint sticks to your clothes is because of the static. So the best way to resolve that is to get rid of the static. And I have a great trick. Take one yard of aluminum foil. Just Reynolds wrap. Yeah, just Reynolds wrap. Make a ball about the size of a softball. Throw it in your dryer. The next 30 to 60 trips to your dryer, it will continue to shrink on itself. It will remove static better than anything you have ever used in your life. When it gets the size of a walnut, you toss it in recycling and make a new one. Okay, what about pet hair? Pet hair will come out if you use the ball of aluminum foil because the pet hair sticks to your clothes because of static. The first time you do this, there will be enough pet hair in your lint trap to knit a new pet. You know, everything the guy says, and I love to do laundry. Well, we're both laundry guys. Yes, yeah, but I don't know, I don't have the knowledge you have, but a long time ago, 
I started using a lot less. I use Tide, Tide free, because I can't stand the, the the smells they put. No, I don't either. I mean, if I want to smell like something, I'm going to go to a department store and buy a fragrance. Right. You know, I don't want P and G to figure it out for me. But a long time ago, I figured this is if you use what they tell you, it's way too much. So today, I'm, I meet this guy and he verifies everything I've thought about laundry. I am so glad I have validated what you already knew. <laughs> you really have. Mm -hmm. uh, what about, you've got clothes that look, okay, how can you tell if, if you've been putting too much soap or too much detergent in, in your laundry? Two things will happen. Number one, they'll be crunchy, they'll be stiff. <clears throat> Number two, the other way you'll notice it is a lot of times like if black or navy blue, starts to look faded it isn't actually faded it's full of soap wow. so when you wash that out it'll the color will go back okay what is the best softener or, or the, the best laundry detergent first of all my favorite is soap is laundry soap laundry soap right and it'll be labeled soap not detergent it's not as easy to find so if you can't find it where, where do you find it if you well, have a store do you find it if sometimes you can it? find it sometimes you can find it at kroger okay you can definitely find it at like a co-op or something or like a natural food store. Okay. If Whole you, Foods? Yeah. Okay. If you don't use that, if you don't want to use that, the next best thing to use is like baby detergent. Because babies have such sensitive skin, they can't put a lot of stuff in it because babies will break out. Okay. So it's cleaner than other detergent. And you know, you can buy that everywhere. What about uh, uh, getting stains out? My favorite stain remover is actually just vinegar and water. Just cheap white vinegar and water, 50-50, put it in a spray bottle and just go to town. And vinegar is vinegar. So yeah. you don't need to pay a lot of money to get the... Yeah, it's like a dollar a gallon, yeah. buck 50 a gallon or something. Right. And then, you know, you think a bottle, you're, first of all, you're cutting it in half. Right. Then you're using it in a spray bottle, so you're misting it on. I mean, you know, a spray bottle of vinegar should last you a few months. But that's what your favorite thing removes stain? It's my favorite stain remover. Wow. Yeah. And and now I, I want to back up here. When you use the laundry soap, yep. you don't call it detergent. Well, if you soap is soap, detergent is detergent. And I prefer What's soap. What's the difference? Well, it's the way it's manufactured. Soap, you take some ingredients, you mix them with a base, and it actually there's a chemical reaction that creates soap. Detergent is cleaning ingredients that are mixed together. Um, I don't hate detergent. Okay. I mean, I don't hate it. It's just a lot of detergents have stuff in them that we don't need. And soap, you can't put the stuff in it because it won't saponify. What if you wake up sometime, and, and I've had this happen, you, you look like you got bug bites on you and you're, you're itching. It's too much detergent, or it's probably too much detergent. It could also be that you're used to a fragrance-free detergent, yeah. and somebody used a detergent that had fragrance in it. Wow. What are, are, have I not covered any tips about laundry? Um, I guess the only the only thing that I would tell you is you don't have to wash something just because you put it on. You know, you can wear your jeans a few times before you wash them. You can wear your shirts a couple of times before you wash them. I was telling you that I went to a delicious restaurant in Louisville last night, and if I left and I smelled like the food, I have a great trick. If you leave a restaurant and you smell okay. like the food, Fair. or you go, you stand next to a smoker, or somebody hugs you and they're wearing perfume, you can spray your clothes with vodka. <laughs> Like cheap vodka, get college vodka, the cheapest vodka you can get your hands on. <laughs> really? Put it in a spray bottle, spray it on. Spray with vodka? And vodka, when it dries, it's odorless and colorless. So you can spray it on, and then when it's dry, it, it removes the odor and then it's completely gone. And the fun thing about vodka is it's also antibacterial. Sure. Yeah. Now, so you can do a, spray it on a white shirt, it's not gonna hurt it. Yeah, you're not gonna see it. That is cool. Yeah, isn't that fun? That's beyond cool. Mm hmm. Now, Let's go back. I want to talk a little history then. I want to ask you a couple of things about your house yeah. book. Um, you were saying back when Monday was always laundry day. Right, because it took all day. Like you had to heat the water this up. This is grand, grandmother. Yeah, you had to heat up. It was 50 gallons of water for a ringer washer. Right. You heated it up on the stove 10 gallons at a time and you filled the washing machine. And so you had to do that. Then you did the laundry. And that was actually why we started doing whites, lights, darks because it was what was best for the ringer washer. So oh. then you ran them through the ringer on so Soapy, refilled this beast, but you know, with another 50 gallons of water and rinsed and then hung on the clothesline. That's why the nursery rhyme says we wash on Mondays, because it took the whole day. 
interesting. There is a reason for everything if you can get to the bottom of it. Yeah, if you work your way yeah. backwards, you can sort of figure it out. Now, let me ask you, and, and I ask you this, knowing a lot of people watching this say, I love to do laundry. A lot of men like to do laundry. Yeah, there's a chemistry thing with laundry. There I think is. a lot of people like it. Why do you like to do laundry? What, what, what? I have two big reasons. Okay. Number one, I believe you do laundry for people that you love. Right. So I think that it's a love language. You know, if you do laundry for somebody, your spouse or your kids, yeah. you do it because you want to take care of them. So right. I love that. The other thing is, and I, a customer summed this up better than I ever could. She said, you know, I can't look on Friday and say, look at all the social work I got done today. But you can start with a pile of dirty laundry and a couple right. hours later, it's all clean, it's put away and you get this incredible sense of satisfaction. I just love it. So, you know, I, I think that's why I love it. Like, it has a beginning and an end, it does. and when you have the right tools, it's easy, and you win. Like, you win against the stain. See, I, the, the Army taught me how to fold everything. Right. That's part of where all this began. And, you know, and, and no matter what it is, whether it's underwear, towels, shirts, I have to fold them like the laundry, like the Army did, or I'm afraid somebody will come in and dump them on the floor. Yeah, you don't want them dumped <laughs> on the floor, but it does make it easier when you fold everything the same way. It does. Uh, now, let's talk about your other book, yeah. House Love. Yep. So House Love came about, it's the follow-up to Laundry Love. And but it just you, came out at Christmas. Yeah, it came out right after Christmas. Yeah. And you don't have to um, read one than the other, but the idea was, I'd already asked you to build this kit for Laundry Love, so when House Love came about, it's take that kit and go through the rest of your house. Okay. So it's all going to be green. It's all going to be clean. Okay. There's some kind of fun hacks in there because I don't love cleaning the house as much as I love laundry. Right. So I did some things to make it easy. Okay. Yeah. Great. The books in Louisville are available at Carmichael's or you can get them from Amazon. They're available in electronic form too. Yeah. Also, there it is. Uh, you you've re the, the books are available as. Uh, Audio books. Yeah, and I recorded and them. You did them. So yeah, so you can, you know, listen to me for a couple hours if you want. Michael, you are a true joy to be around. Thank you. Enjoyed every second of it. Uh, thank you, me too. This was fun. It's the laundry guy. Patrick Richardson. I called you Michael, forgive me. Yeah. It's Patrick Richardson, the laundry guy. Thank you so much. Thank you for being with us here on the WHAS eleven digital side.